is you need to make an outline. The very first tip to public speaking is you need to make an outline. You need to know what you're going to talk about. My name is Sylvester McNutt III. My mission right now is to create conversations around healing, self-love, self-awareness. I believe that once you heal and once you find your purpose, then you create happiness, then you create success. And I believe we are all worthy. Some people have this idea that you can just go in there and wing it, and maybe you can, but when you're speaking to people for an hour, for 40 minutes, 30 minutes, the most important thing is that the people get value. The most important thing is that the people get value. And one of the ways people get value is that as a speaker, you make sure you are coming in prepared. So that's why I made sure I wrote out my speech for every single talk I went to. I wrote out my speech. I wrote out what I was going to go over, what I was going to talk about, the bullet points because I want people to get value. You have to make a lot of eye contact. You have to give off the right body language. You have to try to connect with each audience member. Now, some may say it's not possible, some will say it's possible, but you still have to try. And that's one thing that I tried to do in San Diego, LA, um, Chicago, Atlanta, and Miami. I wanted to connect to each person so I made sure that at the very beginning of the show, I did this thing called honor your energy where I, I'm, I try to make eye contact with every single, I don't even talk. I don't even speak. I don't start my speech until I make eye contact with every single person. And I tell them that I'm doing that. And I, I believe that as a writer, people are reading my words and they're connecting to my words or connecting to my books. But for me as a speaker, I want to connect to the audience members when they finally come out to the talks. And so the way I do that is by, by making eye contact, by making eye contact and, and acknowledging each person. And, and here's another tip for you guys. If you guys want to become a public speaker, you have to acknowledge the people who come, whether it's one person or a thousand people, you have to acknowledge the people. You have to let them know that you appreciate them sharing their time, that you appreciate them spending their money, that you appreciate them giving you their attention because their attention can go, there's so many things taking attention these days. So as a speaker, you wanna make sure that, and it's not just a speaker, as a speaker, as a manager, you know, as a parent, as a, a husband, a wife, boyfriend, a girlfriend, or just a friend, you wanna make sure that you're honoring people one of the best pieces of advice that I can give you is to always honor the people you know. Honor them. Thank them for their time. Thank them for their effort. Thank them for their energy. Thank them for showing up in your life. Thank them for bringing you good good vibes. Thank, th thank them for being there to listen to you. Thank them for, if you need advice and they give you some good advice, thank them for that. Thank, thank the people in your life who give you effort, people who give you value. Because when you don't appreciate what you have, it's going to get taken away from you. So always value and honor the people in your life. Always value their time. Value their efforts. Nothing is promised in life. And no one is entitled to another person's time or another person's effort. So if people are giving you their time and their effort, you have to honor them and you have to value them. And you, you do that with your words by saying thank you so much for being here and genuinely meaning that. You do that by saying thank you for listening, thank you for calling. Whatever the, the medium is, you wanna, you wanna thank them. And I promise you, if you do that, uh, your network will be stronger. The people you know will love you more. Your, your friends, your family, they will love you more. You, it's called positive reinforcement. You wanna acknowledge people. You wanna give them positive reinforcement. You wanna, you wanna let them know that you see their efforts, you know? When you listen to people talk about their relationships, th think about how many people complain about not feeling heard or, or not feeling seen. So do your best to acknowledge people and say, I see you, I acknowledge you, I feel you, I understand you, I'm here with you, you're, you're not alone, like, I got you, you know? You wanna say things like that and you wanna genuinely mean it. You wanna, cause people can tell if you're, if you're BSing them. So you wanna, you wanna genuinely mean that. Um, another thing that I learned about public speaking is uh, that things may not go the way you think they're gonna go. 
And so because of that, you have to you have to always be willing to adjust. Just because you have a plan, just because you have an outline, just because you have an idea, that doesn't mean things are going to go the way you think they're going to go. So a wise person has to always understand that, hey, okay, I'm on this road and I'm trying to travel it this way, but I may have to take a detour. And the, t the detour doesn't mean that I'm doing something wrong or it doesn't mean that, that somebody else externally is doing something wrong. It just means I have to go a different path. And because I'm smart and because I'm wise, I understand that I have to go a different path off of the original road I thought I was going to travel. And that, that just simply means I'm going to adjust. And as long as you always in your mind have the ability to make adjustments, then to me, you have the ability to always be happy, to always be safe. The other thing that, the other tip I want to give you is when you become a speaker, uh, a, a leader, when you become a manager, when you become a parent, you have to have composure. When things go wrong, everyone doesn't need to see you overreact. Everyone doesn't see, need to see you uh, explode emotionally. Everyone doesn't need to see that you're stressed. Everyone doesn't need to see that you're going through problems. You gotta have composure in life. Successful people have composure. You have to be able to, to identify, hey, the situation is messed up but I'm gonna keep my two cents together. I'm gonna to keep my focus together. I'm gonna to keep my energy together because I can't explode right now. I can't blow up right now. I have to keep moving forward, but in order for me to keep moving forward, to keep my team moving forward, to keep my family moving forward, to keep my family, my culture moving forward, I need composure. And the best way to get composure is to meditate, is to meditate in that moment, to just breathe like this. So you take that deep breath and you meditate, you breathe. And when you, when you exhale, you let it go. You let go of that, that emotion that's telling you, oh my God, something happened. You need to overreact. You let that go. You, ah, you breathe it out. You let that go. And, and that's how you stay focused. That's how you, you keep composure by breathing, by, by meditating, by knowing that, hey, this moment, <laughs> this moment is a little messed up. Okay, this moment is a little messed up. But it, it's not messed up enough to the point that I need to lose, lose focus of, lose sight of, of the bigger goal, the bigger mission. Keep your composure. Mm -hmm.